They used phony addresses and local numbers that are not local to target consumers desperate for help. I-Team reporter Jackie Calloway first exposed the problem two years ago. Now Hillsborough County is looking to crack down on this fraud. Explain, Jackie. And that's right. Well, we're talking about unlicensed locksmiths. They work under the radar of the law and are right now completely unregulated, but that may soon change. For years, locksmith experts, including Ed Jerowitz, petitioned lawmakers in Tallahassee for industry regulation. I guess they've been working on it for a number of years because they want to keep the riffraff out. Victims like Casey Kubley find it hard to believe there's no regulation on people who pop locks on cars and homes for a living. I was livid. Casey claims this locksmith quoted her $15 to open her car door, then hit her with an $84 bill. The I-team discovered the same man was convicted of criminal sexual contact back in 2004. These businesses are um, preying on people who are desperate to access uh, their, their home or vehicle. Our most recent I-team undercover investigation caught the attention of Hillsborough Commission Chairman Ken Hagen. No, there's no question that there should be some form of uh, regulation in place. Today, he showed our story to the Board of County Commissioners. But as the I-Team has been reporting, Hillsborough Consumer Protection Chief Kevin Jackson explained to the board how the fake locksmiths operate. They try to capture as many calls as they can from consumers by listing <clears throat> literally hundreds of phony locksmith names and addresses on the Internet. But there's, these addresses are all fake. There's no locksmiths at these addresses. Commissioners took the first step toward regulating the industry. A motion I'd like to make, and I'll, I'll pass the gavel, is, is just to direct the county attorney's office uh, to research how other governments throughout the state uh, regulate the locksmith industry. The motion carried 7 to 0. Ed Jerowitz, the owner of Action Lock and Safe, and others in this business hope for an ordinance that will mandate certification, background checks, and sanctions for those who violate the rules. It's been a long time coming. Now, Pinellas County tells us they, too, are considering asking their attorney to research a possible ordinance after seeing our stories, but so far that has not happened. Commissioner Hagan says he hopes the county will draft and pass a locksmith ordinance in the next few months.